Hi everyone, today I'm just going to be showing a little tutorial on how you can get your hair braided tight. I've already done a video on this before, but I'm going to show you a little bit more in detail. So without further ado, I'm just going to show you how I keep my hair up at night, keep it protected from breakage, as well as some ways I like to style it. So if you'd like to see how to get this or any other braided styles, keep watching. You're going to watch me as I take out my braids. We're going to brush through them. And then I'm going to give myself a slightly different braided style to show you some alternate ways I like to wear them. Hair loves to be braided. I talked about this in the last video, but when it braids, it coils all together and it makes it a lot harder for the hair to tangle. You know, hair is likes to be springy and coiled. And if they're all coiled in the same direction, look at that. It goes right through without any tangles. A lot of people watch my videos and they're like, I wish I could have hair like yours. And I hope I can help you because I really love my hair, but you have to take care of hair when it's this long. Otherwise it won't look like this. I also gotta say, I have dyed my hair blonde before, but I don't really recommend it, especially if you want your hair to have a natural health. But then again, right? You can make dyed hair healthy. It just takes more work. So some of my tangles are coming out as I brush through them. I'm going to section off the hair on either side, center parted. Try to not let pieces of the hair blend together. I'm also going to take some of my bangs because my bangs are layered so they're all shorter than the rest of my hair. So I like to separate them sometimes out of the braid because it is not as comfortable to braid layered hair. So all of this bang is shorter than the rest of my hair, so it's going to go in its own braid. But for now, we're just going to hair tie it off. Another thing that I always recommend when braiding hair is to hair tie together all the potential braids so they stay separate. So I'm also going to get this side. Just make sure, and then I'm going to hair tie this off as well. And we're going to keep these clipped back while we do the other braid. It looks a little silly. I look like I belong in Whoville, but that's okay. Making sure that the hair is properly separated. And then one more brush through. Now we're going to take this, we're going to try to get it all going the same direction, split it in an uneven half, and then split it in half again. I like to brush out the, the pieces individually. And then you can do it either way, but I am going, I like my braids to lay a little forward. So I take this farthest back strand to start the braid and I braid it as tight as I can. Cross them over. Once you get it started like this, you pull it tight. You want to smooth it out with each rotation, otherwise the hair is all going to tangle together. And you want it up here. You want to grab it at the base of the braid like this. And then you can smooth it out with your thumbs with each rotation, and then you won't get memed. Once the braid is started, the rest is easy like this. You just repeat the motion. The hard part is starting the braid. If you mess up starting the braid, it's not a big deal. You can just start over. Mm, look at that. And it feels really nice. And if you give yourself a little bit, if your hair is dry, you can add a little bit of oil before you do this. And oiled hair actually braids more easily and it likes to have oil in the braid. 
it's a great treatment for your hair. Like recently I gave my hair an oil treatment and I just kept it in a braid for, oh, it was a very tight pair of braids and I kept it in for like multiple days before I undid it. And I gotta say, it really nourishes the ends. Once your hair gets this long, the bottom half of it is going to look like straw and hay if you don't like moisturize it and go out of your way to, because it, it's hard. Now that we have finished it off, I'm gonna hair tie it. I like to use scrunchies instead of hair ties, but you can use hair ties. Um, I just prefer the velvet on my hair. Now, we're gonna undo this clip. We're gonna resection off the bangs. I like to twist all the hair together so it's all going the same way. Like I said, I like to coil. Then we re hair tie this, and now we'll do this this braid. It feels really good. I think everyone should give their hair, especially if it's long, the extra time it needs. It's very soothing to do this right before bed, I find. It's calming. And you know, I used to have nervous tics that weren't as good. You know, I used to be a scratcher. I would pick at my scars. I would pick at my acne scabs. And this is a much less destructive habit. In fact, if I hadn't started doing this to my hair, my hair was in a kind of bad way over quarantine. I would always just kind of put it up tight and I wouldn't do anything with it because I was depressed and it, it does take effort to do this but it's not as much effort as it seems because when you keep your hair nice and you keep it from tangling it's way easier to maintain whereas if you let your hair if you leave it alone if you let it tangle really bad then every time you try to care for it it'll be a whole ordeal meanwhile I can do this in 10 minutes right before bed so I hope that if anybody out here is watching me and their hair isn't very healthy, just know that I was able to recover my hair from a pretty unhealthy place. And you can too. Just take some time, some patience, a little bit of love. You know, everybody, everybody needs that. Everybody needs some time, some patience, and a little bit of love. That's what I think. It just feels so good to get it really tight like this and sometimes I redo it if I do it too tight because it's more important that your braid is comfortable at the base than tight at the base and then when you tighten it at the end it's not uncomfortable but too tight up here and then you can get a tension headache so don't do that to yourself I used to all right now we're gonna do the bang bra braids you do not have to do this. This is an extra step that I just wanted to show because I sometimes do it for hairstyles. I like having two little braids. It um, is cute. It's very pixie. And I've been going for trans pixie moments. So we're going to separate them in half. I'm going to tie this one off. It's really, you. if you've tried braiding when you don't tie them off like this, it's really tough. Or at least I think so. Now these I like to be tight, but not too tight. Otherwise it will hurt. And I'm going to put this one over this time. And we're going to try to make it braid outwards like this outwards along the forehead to the side instead of out as in like straight forward so this might be too tight 
but I'm demonstrating, so I'll allow it. And you can always start the braid over if it's too tight, you know? I love little braids. The way they look, the way they feel, they're just... They're cute. A little braid will take a lot longer than a big braid because it's going much tighter and you wrap it around more often. So just be patient. If you don't have time in the morning, don't go for the little braids. Just do big braids. And that's the thing. If your hair is unwashed, if your hair is dirty, no one will be able to tell if it's in a really tight braid. So that's a hack. I don't take these super far down because I like the look of a little tuft at the end like this. Now, this is the last one. I like to do four braids because my hair is honestly a little thicker than um, two braids and tails. And I do two braids all the time, but I just, you know. Again, the farthest one forward over this time and you, you tightly braid it outwards, not forward. Like this, hold it to the side. Smooth it around your thumbs. If you don't hold it at the base of the braid, it's going to be way harder to smooth it out as you go, and then the braid just gets lost. Holding the strands of hair between your fingers is the best way to keep them from separating, and eventually, with time, it'll just be like second nature for you. I can't really verbally describe this motion as I go, because once you've started a braid, it's almost robotic to continue it. My advice is just to tr to practice, practice, practice if it doesn't come to you naturally. It didn't come to me naturally. As a trans girl, I had to teach myself everything. I had to teach myself how to do makeup. I had to teach myself how to take care of my skin, my hair. And nobody teaches young boys how to do any of that stuff. So it it's time to not feel shame about it. It's time to just do it. And I hope that I can help at least one trans girl out there feel better about her hair. Her, you know, they say a woman's hair is her crown. Even if your hair is short, it needs to be taken care of. Although, the longer the hair, the harder it is. You know, it's easy to take care of short hair. In fact, hair likes to be left alone, you know. Believe it or not, I very rarely, very infrequently wash my hair. I'll rinse it, I'll give it oil treatments, and I'll braid it tight. I'll, I'll maintain it, but I don't want to use shampoo on it a lot because it'll dry it out. And if you have short hair, that's not the case, you know? Short hair doesn't get dried out as easily because it's closer to the base, it has more of its own natural oils, but what shampoo does is it strips hair of its natural oils, which is why you have to put conditioner back in in order to give the oils back. The problem is there's very few natural oils on the tip of my hair. So just keep that in mind if you're growing your hair out and you're washing it a lot. You might be doing more harm than good. So here are all the braids. They feel really nice. Now I'm going to show you a little style I like to do with either braid on either side. I take my clip and I clip it up like that. And you can either keep the um, scrunchies in, I like to, or you can take them out, which makes the hairstyle look a little cleaner. Then I'm going to take these scrunchies off and put them back like this and tie them together with just one scrunchie. That way we have nice little cascading braid bangs like this. And it's not too tight. I think this is a cute little look. This is what I like to do with my hair while I sleep. Now granted, does it look a little bit Star Wars Whoville? Yes. But you know what? 
when you have hair as long as me, you need hairstyles that aren't just putting it down because it's not realistic to have your hair down all the time. It's just not. So I hope you liked my tutorial. Just do whatever you want with it too, you know? You can have all these braids down if you want. You can take all four braids, put them back in a ponytail. You can put one half down and one half up. I like to put it all up like this because it's all contained, you know? Having hair this long is actually not good on my neck. It can weigh my head down, but when I braid it up like this, it I can't explain it. Anyway, if you enjoyed this, I hope you tune in for more videos like this. I have another video on my channel with a little more in-depth information on my hair. And maybe I will make this more of a regular thing. If you like this video, please like, please comment, please subscribe, please hit that notification bell. I'm a small creator, but I'm doing my best to get my voice out there. And I hope that if you like what I'm making and you like what you see, you want to help me out. Peace.